Hi there, I'm going to just talk you through some useful things um, that you can also use ArcMap um, to do. Um, along the top here we've got um, a menu called Geoprocessing um, and it's often the situation where you may want to produce buffers around particular objects on a map. Say you were trying to constrain an area and say that something couldn't happen in a particular area. Um, to identify areas where you may be could or couldn't um, create a development or, or do some, some building work for example. Um, the, the ArcGIS gives you the ability to create um, what we call buffers around particular objects and these need to be vector objects and I've got a, an example here of a vector uh, vectorized road um, and, and so we can put buffers around things like roads um, this is line data obviously we could also create a buffer around a point um, but also around a polygon as well. Um, it's quite a straightforward process. Um, so I'm going to go to the geo processing tool up the top here and I'm going to choose the um, the option called buffer um, and then if we hover over it, it gives us a little description of what it does. So the geo processing tool that creates buffer polygons around input features to a specified distance. Um, so if we run um, this tool and um, we get an example here of what a buffer can do creates a buffer polygon around the input feature so we need to first of all choose an input feature um, in this instance we've only got one feature we can choose which is the road feature so we're going to choose road and if we had multiple roads in this particular feature class it would create a buffer around each one of those um, so I've now added that um, again we've got here an output feature class um, so by default it chooses my default geo database to put the um, the output feature class into and again it automatically gives it a name of course we can go and edit that if we want to um, and down the bottom here and um, this is the, the important bit where we choose the distance that we want it to, to create the buffer um, and again we've got a choice of different um, units that we can choose from so I'm going to just stick to meters um, and then I can simply type in an amount of um, dis distance in meters in here. So I'm going to just do a two meet, 200 meter buffer um, around that road. Um, I simply select um, OK. Um, and the tool will now go away and generate a buffer. So you can see it's now generating a buffer. And this will take a few minutes depending on how much data you have. If you've got a very large data set, it could take some time, but it shouldn't be too long in this instance as we've only got one feature um, in the data set. So it's now completed, so I can simply close that down. And there we go. We can see that it's um, created the buffer around our road of, of 200 meters either way. Um, and it's actually added the new shapefile called buffer um, to our layers. Um, type of contents over here on the left and of course that just now acts like a normal shape file and can be um, switched on and off and of course we can go in there and we can change the color of, of how that is displayed and of course we can we can move it up and down in the layers order here as well um, as we would do any other feature class and if I just quickly pop over and look inside the geo database we can now see that that roads buffer has been added um, to my geo database as well so there we go, that's creating buffers inside ArcMap using the um, geoprocessing buffering.